Hi, O'Daly here for Severe May alongside Alan Philpott. Al, it didn't go your way tonight, but you know, it, 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 there's not a good way to lose, you know, for anybody in, in this sport, but you, you you might be the exception there, man, because, you know, if you look at, you know, if you want to talk about damage to a fire and, like, you, you don't look too bad, you obviously took a few shots, but, man, I did an interview with Tom earlier, man, he was cut up, man. He was uh, that easily, by far, his, his toughest opponent uh, so far. Yeah, well, no, obviously my heart's broke. No, I put everything into this fight, and I, I was all, I was very focal the last few weeks about, you no, know, the best shape of my life, the best form of my life, and how I was going to be the man to beat Tom, and I did believe it. <clears throat> no, that wasn't just words; it was self-belief. But then the day, so when you get in there, it's, it's a different game, though. Things happen. It's MMA. And that's what makes it beautiful because anything can happen. You know, I felt that edge the first round, good first round, come back the second, ready to pick up a pace and. He just landed the clean shot, and then that's what set up the damage. Yeah, and it, to be honest, it was a, it was a frenetic pace, um, and me and some of the Rhino guys were backstage, and we were talking, and they were like, "There's no way these guys can keep this uh, this pace up for three rounds." Obviously, both of these guys came prepared, but uh, man, it was a, it was it was a wild fight. Like, and even when I talked to Tom, you said he called it a technical brawl, and uh, you know they're sometimes the most enjoyable fights to watch, and which it was. Yeah, well. The the positive feedback again, you know, it's, it's lifted me right up and took me straight out of negativity. You no, know, I'm walking away here now with my head high. Like I say, I'm sad obviously because I lost. You no, know, it was a big opportunity, but this isn't the end. There, you no, know, people just call me a journeyman because I've got a mixed record. 24 years old. That was my 43rd fight. You know, I've been training eight years. This is the only beginning. That 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 me tonight is the start of me and. I think I proved myself that I can hang in there with the best in the world. Yeah, definitely, you know, and, and uh, you know he had his coaches come over from the from 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 America as well. I'm sure you know you spoke to to, to Mike Jackson, uh, Greg, Greg Jackson, yeah, uh, just outside, and he was also very complimentary of your abilities as well. So this, you know, has to be uh, as I said a positive side of it. And you know, Bama is coming back now uh, to Belfast, of course. You know, that's your hometown. Uh, at the end of February, you obviously want to be on the card. It's no question. The likes of yourself, Reese, some the other guys from next gen have to be on that card yeah like you say you know, Greg Jackson's one of the best in the world and for him to give me compliments you know, it, mean, it means the world you know, I shook his hand after and he says to me you know, good talent uh, big future or something around them lines Tom himself he hugged me he, hu he hugged me shh yo shh. he hugged me and uh, <laughs> it says to me I, I thought I didn't think you were in that level yeah. so Obviously, I proved myself to them, and that meant a lot. But Bama come to Belfast, no, I've since I signed with Bama, that that's why I won it. Yeah. Obviously, winning the world title, I would have shouted it and cried. Don't matter how to do that headline spot, but <laughs> no, if Dickama still stays about and keeps that title shot, and then I'm happy enough to just be the co main or whatever. But if that world title shot can't like it's vacant, no, I think I'm ready to go again. Yeah. No, Jay Walsh or somebody, I think he would be a good opponent for me as well. Um, so definitely Belfast is where we're going to be. Yeah, well, look, you know, you didn't take too much damage. Obviously, you'll look to heal up over the Christmas and obviously spend time with your family and then get right back, pretty much right back into camp, you know. Um, end of February, it's only about seven or eight weeks just after New Year kicks yeah. in. But, you know, you, you've spoken about one or two opponents there. I'd say it doesn't even matter who you fight, you know. It doesn't, no. Like I say, it's not even the belts that I'm worried. It's, it's being the best I want to be. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And... Like I say, having that belt, it does give you a wee bit more status. So yes. no, so it puts me up there as the best. Um, I do, I do honestly believe I, I'm the best striker in the division. No, and I do know I've got so much more capable and so many more improvements to make in the other areas. But this time, it's been interesting to see where I'm at this time next year. That's all I can say. Well, definitely, and I don't think that uh, Tom or his corner underestimated you whatsoever. I just don't think that they thought that it was going to be as tough a fight as it actually was. Not no disrespect to you, whatever. But I just don't think that they they thought Tom's obviously on a tear. Then they thought that the fight was going to go a little bit easier than that. But I think you heard him in the second. I saw him kind of drop to a knee. I don't know if it was a kick or a punch. I'll have to watch the tape back. But I, I thought you had him hurt. I was like, shit, Phil has him hurt. You know, and I, I honestly, I had you for the upset, you know, yeah. and, and not just on, on an Irish thing. I just felt that Tom has been on such a tear and every fighter has a hiccup in their locker. You know, they definitely do. And your, your confidence coming into this fight, as I said, it was self-belief. And I just felt there was, there was an aura about you all week that I, I really did believe that you were, you were going to get the upset. I did myself, mate, though. I, I, like I said, and then I said I believed and nothing was rehearsed. I didn't say these things, you know, just to say them. No, everything I said came from my heart. I believed it and I do know I've got a big future in the sport and I am willing to take it to wherever it has to go. No, for me, Tom's the man. No, then the day it came down, we both went at it. Uh, I took heat 
everybody said, no, that I've took him where he's never been before. Yeah. So that again is another positive thing to take away. But um, no, definitely the future's looking bright. And like I say, after Christmas, straight back in. I'll be like three on the bounce. You no, know, I've done the September card, straight in basically for this card. And I'll go again. I'll, I, that's why I do it. Oh, you get these fighters, oh, I need a break, six months or a four. Well, what's the point? <laughs> oh, I've got a bit of a dead leg, a weave sore elbow, cut lip and a bruised nose. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Fall down the stairs, I could end up with. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm literally looking forward to getting back in the gym Monday, because you know, I've been away for a while and yeah. now I'm home for Christmas and go spend as much time with all my boys in the gym as well. No, because I, I don't get over as much anymore, yeah. obviously, money reasons. But, yeah, but no, I, I, I'm, I'm on a good high now, like, no, I, I'm feeling good. and I, I'm actually really looking forward to getting back in the camp to progress again, to go in and show that I'm going to step on all level in Belfast. Well, look, it might be one step back uh, record-wise, but I think you've definitely upped your stock. Records uh, for DJs, yeah. Records for DJs. <laughs> the crowd, Johnny. <laughs> well, look, I think it's, it, it might be a step back career-wise because of the loss, um, but I mean, definitely two steps forward because people are going to know your name even more so than they possibly did previously because of this fight. And if Tom does go on to the UFC or wherever he decides to go and he runs it, you know, runs through other opponents, they're going to look back and go, oh, oh shit, man, that, that field pot fight, that was his fight that really, you know, kind of questioned his heart. And he came through and he got the victory, but you know we're going to see you come on and do better things in the future. We'll, we'll be following as we always do. And uh, man, can't wait to be up in Bama next, you know, next year, uh, early February, sorry, end of February. So I uh, can't wait to see that. Thanks, man. Cheers, Al. Thank Thanks, man. Cheers.